This must be the cache of humanitarian aid. Okay, David. Found a bunch more supplies here. I'll send you the location. You are doing a great thing. Each supply cache could save hundreds of some carrion lives. Why Simcaria, if you don't mind me asking? I merely wish to help the children of Simcaria, as I once failed to help those who relied on me most. Thank you again for finding those supplies. I will come by to get them soon. Huh. Sounds like David's carrying around a little guilt. Like most of us, I guess. Hi, David. I think I found the last hideout. Great work. So, I was thinking, maybe we should store the caches at a local police precinct, just for safekeeping. I would prefer to safeguard them myself. I get the sense you're not telling me something. Yeah. I had a work visa with Sailor International. It became invalid when I quit. Even an ID check right now could mean immediate deportation. I merely wish to finish this one task, and then I will go. Maybe I could help you with the whole immigration thing. Do not worry for me. This was my choice, and I have no regrets. Hey, what's up? Hi, MJ. Can I ask a huge favor? Sure, what's up? Remember that story you did on the shortage of teachers in the city? Well, you know someone who might be a good fit. If he had a visa. I think some of the supers are offering H1Bs based on credentials. Send me his info and I'll call her out. the supplies. David, the final supply caches are secure. Thank you. I will take them all to the Simcarian Embassy and make sure the aid is delivered. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. I will. And thank you once more, Spider-Man. Guess that's it. Hope MJ can pull some strings for him. Hey, David. What's up? Spider-Man, I have the supply caches and I'm on my way to the Embassy. But I think I am being followed. Where are you? I am not sure. I am... David? David! Hold on. I'm on my way. Hammerhead's men knew David would be alone. Invulnerable. I should have seen this coming. Hang in there, David. There's David. He's in trouble. Gotta move. You could use a little help.
You still good? Okay? I think so. Thank God for this sable armor. So, what's next? Deliver the caches to the Simkarian embassy. Thanks to you, the Simkarians will finally get the aid they need. Just happy I could help. But I meant what's next for you? Well, a few minutes ago I received a call from a school in Midtown. They offered me a visa if I accepted a teaching position. I don't suppose you had something to do with that. Good things happen to good people. I can't thank you enough. I will try every day to help my students achieve their dreams as you have helped me achieve mine. Actually, I should be the one thanking you. For what? For reminding me why I'll always love this city. Is it me, or is the world a little brighter right now? I'm just gonna bask in this good feeling for at least the next few seconds. Or until something else bad happens. The entrance to his hideout must be some... Huh, must be underground. Guess it's time for some herb... This is it, folks. <laughs> That's a new smell. Yuck. Hope I find Sable before the fumes overwhelm her. If I can get through this without getting wet, that'd be a win. Hello! This is so cool. Hey! Whoa, look at this place. The amount of work it takes to make this city run is just crazy. I'll never take fresh water for granted again. Okay, let's see where this leads. Looks like some loose bricks up ahead. Nice. Okay, onward. Hammerheads, guys. They've taken over an abandoned subway platform. Gotta take these guys out, then look around for Sable. Jig is up. Gotta make this quick. Okay, that's all of them. Now, I bet if I follow the power cables, I'll find where they're holding Sable. Hope that's not a load-bearing subway car. Nice. OK, 
Okay, follow the yellow wire. Better not find any lion. Ah, tunnel's blocked. But I think I can still squeeze through. This just took a turn. What happened with this one? What do you mean, what happened? He died inside the thing, like the other guys. Who was it? Don't remember his name. Sal's cousin, I think. Was it messy? Nah, he just came out all blue. I think he stopped breathing in there or something. Did you hook up the oxygen line like I said? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think so. Boss ain't gonna like hearing, I think so. Then forget I said- What the? This place looks like their main base of operations. Sable jetpacks. I'd pay good money to see Hammerhead's guys learning to fly in these things for the first time. XRT-89. Subterranean Troop Deployment Vehicle. That's the real name? I'm sticking with Dig Boy. All this stuff belongs to Sable? Yeah, most of it's overseas, though. What are you thinking, boss? I'm thinking about how she took over the whole city in a matter of days. You mean back during that Devil's Breath thing? Yeah, that was crazy. Not so crazy when you got the right equipment. Well, we got those digging things. Not good enough. If we want the best stuff, we're gonna need her. Yeah, okay. How are we gonna do that? Just keep taking her stuff. She'll come to us. The cop almost killed me. I thought you said I'd be indestructible. I said almost indestructible. After all, you're still human. Then make me less human. I... I'm not sure what you mean. I mean what I said. Now get to work. Wow. If Hammerhead gets his hands on this thing, we're in serious trouble. Project Olympus. These pods require- I told you, I just helped manufacture these things. I didn't design them. Guess we got the wrong guy then. On the bright side, now we got our first test subject. No! No! Don't! Don't turn it on! Please! Just give me a few minutes. I can figure it out! Now that's what I like to hear. Sable. Sounds like she's close. There! The only way out is through. High voltage wires and sewer water. What could possibly go wrong? If there's one takeaway from this underground lair thing, it's that Hammerhead should have fewer thugs with guns and a lot more safety inspectors. Ah! Every minute I am here is another nail in your coffin. <laughs> you got spirit. I like it. I will never give you.
Why? Because I need you. I work alone. I used to say the same thing. I know what's happening in Simkaria. I know why this means so much to you. I think you know, but you do not know. What can I do to make you trust me? Look, I think I know how we can take down that monster, but I can't do it alone. Damn it! He let her loose! Here's the plan. Oh. Good plan. was awesome! High five! You said you could defeat Hammerhead. You, uh, know you left me hanging, right? There are medical records in here. Yeah, mostly about that metal plate in his head. Carbon steel. Super strong, pretty sensitive to heat. I have an idea. I uh, solemnly swear to uh, do whatever you tell me to. I will call soon. Ow. But yeah. Guess I'll do some spidey work while I wait for Sable's call. Hey, what's that? What's with all the yellow stuff? Huh. Is this some weird street artist thing? A police report. Looks like someone was killed during a mugging, but nothing was stolen. Hmm. What's with the audio recorder? So, you have some work-related stress. Well, you came to the right place. That's my specialty. So they tell me. Give me some more specifics about how you're feeling. Guess you could say I put a lot of pressure on myself. I like to be the best. Plus, I have a very demanding boss. Then what kind of work do you do? Everything here stays confidential, right? Of course. Good. Because if any of this gets out, you're a dead man. The case file says one of nine. There must be more of these out in the city. There's a bunch of GPS coordinates here. I love treasure hunts, but something tells me I'm not gonna find a chest full of gold at any of these places.
Just letting you know I haven't left the house. Glad to hear it. What's up? I've been listening to the police radio, and there's stuff happening all over the city, like constantly. Pretty overwhelming, isn't it? How do you do it? I mean, you can't be everywhere at once. Remember what May used to say. You help someone, you help everyone. Yeah, but I never really understood what she meant. Okay. You know that lady that came in to feast the other day with her two kids? The one who just got evicted? Yeah. After she found a job and was about to move into her new place, she told me, as soon as I get my first paycheck, I'm sending as much as I can back to the shelter. So we helped her, and now she wants to help others. Helping is like a force multiplier. Exactly. May was pretty great, wasn't she? The greatest. I'm gonna send you an address as soon as I'm done with all this, so stay ready. And bring those web shooters with you. Finally! Huh. Mystery person's calling card. This looks familiar. I think it's the last known location of a Magia informant who disappeared a few months ago. I'm feeling a little uncomfortable. I think we should end the session. Sorry, Doc. I didn't mean to scare you. I've just been paranoid lately. Like I said, stressful job. Okay. So tell me a little bit more about your job. Describe a typical day. Hmm. Typical day? I guess it starts with waking up, checking my phone, see what a boss wants me to hit that day. Then I go grab breakfast. I've been trying to do that keto thing, you know? Then I do the hits. Sometimes it's messy, so I gotta head home and clean up. I try to get to the gym in the afternoon. Then dinner and I... Sorry, um... Can you go back for a moment? What does do a hit mean exactly? It means I kill who my boss tells me to. I'm pretty good at it by now. Got quite the resume. <laughs> this guy sounds like a Magia enforcer. Feels like this is just part of the story. I should keep an eye out for more scenes like this. Another crime report. Let's hear what the recorder has to say. So what do you think, Doc? Well, clinically, you're a sociopath. You have no remorse for your actions. You clearly are not stressed. I doubt you think there's actually anything wrong with you. So, why did you really come see me today? <laughs> you're smart. I like that. Okay, let's get right to it then. You do what I tell you, and I won't kill your family. Whoa. You want to get right to it? Okay then. I know why you're really here. I knew who you were the minute you walked in that door. And I also know that before I do anything for you, you're gonna do something for me. Well, that took a turn. These crime scenes all feel like covers for Magia hits. And if the guy on the tape is a Magia enforcer, maybe he's the one who killed all these people. I am ready. Meet me at my base. I've been meaning to ask. How exactly do you have a base in the city that I don't know about? Right. Good talk. Why is she always hanging up on me? Maybe she didn't hang up on purpose. She probably just got disconnected. She could be waiting for me to call her back. Or she could be running out of minutes on her cell phone plan. I mean, she's probably doing international roaming. That stuff is expensive. Or maybe she just really needed to polish her pistols. Let's apply Occam's razor. The simplest and most obvious solution is... She hates me. Ugh. Logic takes the fun out of everything. Someone fell to their death.